it's no secret that everyone gets distressed before getting into placement drives as it sets the adequate pathway for your career journey. However, preparing for placement drives can boost your confidence and bring you good job offers. So here we are to help you with that. Today, we bring you this informative video on campus placement preparation. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. First and foremost, before you step into placement drives, make sure to carry good research about companies that are going to visit your campus. Request your placement managers to provide you with company details and list down the top five companies that you desire to work for. Once you have a list of the companies that you want to work in, it's time to do some research about them. Start gathering information about specific roles that companies are hiring for. Go through the eligibility criteria and match it with your skill set. Remember, having an excellent educational track record allows you to sit for several placement drives, so make sure to maintain it. Also, contact a few seniors working in the company that you're trying to get into and ask them about their experience. Having a good network of friends will help you find a senior who guides you. You can also use review sites like Glassdoor to get an idea about the interview process and questions asked in the previous interviews. The next point to keep in mind is to ensure that you have practiced well on your aptitude skills because every interview process begins with an aptitude test. Aptitude tests contain questions based on logical reasoning, quantitative ability, verbal skills, domain knowledge, and psychometric analysis. The motive behind conducting these aptitude tests is to gauge the intellect of the candidate. This test is the first hurdle that you have to clear before reaching the next round in the placement drive. So it is crucial to polish your aptitude skills firsthand. Consider going through several company-specific mock tests to gain an idea of time management and tricks that help you crack the aptitude questions. Going through virtual AMCAT tests is also preferred. Our next tip to you is to polish your soft skills. These skills refer to various personality traits such as attitude, communication, time management, and creative abilities. They help in capitalizing on your potential and help you stand out. Exhibiting good soft skills is crucial in any workplace as it allows you to boost your chances of building healthy relationships with coworkers. The group discussion round is one of the ways recruiters use to evaluate your soft skills. If you feel underconfident about group discussion rounds, not to worry, we have you covered. You can check out our video on group discussion. Here's the link to that. Once you polish your soft skills, it's time to groom your hard skills. These skills refer to technical knowledge of the domain that you want to work in. Always keep in mind that your competence in your core technical subject will largely matter in the recruitment process. So we strongly recommend you to start working on your hard skills a year before the placement season arrives. Initially, start strengthening your basics. Go through online questionnaires to assess your understanding of each concept. You can also grab hands-on experience in the field that you want to operate by completing extensive training and certification programs. An internship experience can also benefit you as it develops professional aptitude and practical understanding of your course subject. On that note, can you all share the biggest technical challenge that you have resolved during your college curriculum in the comment section below? Remember, the best answer stands a chance to win an Amazon gift voucher. After strengthening your technical competence, it's time to prepare for one of your hiring processes, toughest rounds known as interviews. An interview can either make or break your future, so it's crucial to prepare well before the interview process. In technical interviews, recruiters test your technical competency. It is advised that you go through the previous year's interview questions to get an understanding of what you are in for. Try and get a general idea about the type of questions that they ask. 
you can refer to Glassdoor as it's one of the most reliable resources to discover previous interview questions. Remember, your command over technical knowledge and confidence is vital to nail technical interviews. Once you crack the technical interview, it's time to prepare for the trickier part of your hiring process known as the HR interview. In these interviews, recruiters ask you generic questions. These questions might seem easy, but they are not. And the answers to these can be tricky and do more harm than good. You can prepare for these rounds by using mock interview tools like Mock AI by AMCAT. If you still don't feel self-reliant about these interviews, you can watch our video on interview tips to help you crack your interview. And here's the link to that. Finally, once you go through all these steps of hiring process, it's time to wait for further updates from your college's placement coordinators. If your results are not what you've expected, then don't panic. Remember, to err is human and to improve is divine. So instead of grieving, ask your placement cell to provide you with feedback given by recruiters. Take the feedback seriously and list out areas where you need significant improvement. You can then start terminating your weaknesses one by one. Work on your communication skills and domain knowledge by attempting mock interviews and practice tests. This will help you boost your confidence. This way, you are ready for your next opportunity and you can put your best efforts to seize the next job offer. Eventually, you will end up being hired by one of your dream companies that you have listed in step one. So those were our tips to help you prepare for campus placements. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope these tips are helpful to all of you college students out there and we wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching our video and stay tuned for more updates from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.